In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. Brothers and sisters, we prepare ourselves to celebrate the sacred mysteries. Let us call to mind our sins. I confess to the Almighty God, and to you, my brothers and sisters, that I have gravely sinned in my thoughts and in my words, in what I have done and in what I have failed to do, through my fault, through my fault, through my most grievous fault. Therefore, I ask the Blessed Mary of a Virgin, all the angels and saints, and to you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me and to the Lord our God. May the Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us life everlasting. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Let us pray. O God, who by your ineffable mercy have been pleased through the labors of your priest, blessed Junipero Serra, to count many American peoples within your church, grant by his intercession that we may so join our hearts to you in love as to carry always and everywhere before all people the image of your only begotten Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. A reading from the book of the prophet Amos. Seek good and not evil, that you may live. Then truly will the Lord, the God of hosts, be with you as you claim. Hate evil and love good, and let justice prevail at the gate. Then it may be that the Lord, the God of hosts, will have pity on the remnant of Joseph. I hate, I spurn your feast, says the Lord. I take no pleasure in your salamentes. Your cereal offerings I will not accept, nor consider your stall-fed peace offerings. Away with your noisy songs. I will not listen to the melodies of your harps, but if you would offer me burnt offerings and let me let justice surge like water and goodness like an unfailing stream. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. To the upright I will show the saving power of God. To the upright I will show the saving power of God. Hear my people and I will speak. Israel I will testify against you. God, your God, am I. To the, the upright, upright, I will show the saving power of God. Not for your sacrifices do I rebuke you, for your burnt offerings are before me always. I take from your house no bullock, no ghost out of your fold. To the upright I will show the saving power of God. For mine are all the animals of the forest, beasts by the thousand on my mountains. I know all the birds of the air, and whatever stirs in the plains belongs to me. To the upright I will show the saving power of God. If I were hungry, I should not tell you, for mine are the world and its fullness. Do I eat the flesh of strong bulls, or is it the blood of goats my drink? To the yeah, upright I will show the saving power of God. Why do you recite my statues and profess my covenant with your mouth? 
though you hate this discipline and cast my words behind you. To the upright, the upright I will I'll show the power of God. Alleluia, 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 alleluia. Father willed to give us birth by the word of truth, that we may be a kind of fir first fruits of his creatures. Alleluia, Alleluia, Alleluia. The Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. When Jesus came to the territory of the Gadarenes, two demoniacs who were coming from the tomb met him. They were so savage that no one could travel by that road. They cried out, What have you to do with us, son of God? Have you come here to torment us before the appointed time? Some distance away, a herd of many swan was feeding. The demons pleaded with him, If you drive us out, send us into the herd of swan. And he said to them, Go then. They came out and entered the swan, and the whole herd rushed down the steep bank into the sea where they drowned. The swan herd ran away, and when they came to the town, they reported everything, including what had happened to the demoniacs. Therefore, the whole town came out to meet Jesus, and when they saw him, they begged him to leave their district. The Gospel of the Lord. Brothers and sisters in the Lord, so today we celebrate the feast of St. Junipero Serra. St. Junipero is one of the most successful missionaries in recent time in our history. He was very successful. And part of his success was his great zeal for the salvation of soul. He had a strong will to spread the gospel. And that is what br brought him to this country. And so he did that very faithfully. It is very unfortunate that we are celebrating the feast of St. Junipero at a time in our history that we are trying to erase memories of him from our history. You know, we are trying all we can. I heard that down in California, people are toppling down his statues, you know, trying to kind of do away with memories of everything he, do, he did for the salvation of souls. I don't know if that is going to be the solution to the problem we are having, but all I know is that St. Junipero was a holy man who was filled with the love of God in his heart, and that is what brought him to this country to proclaim that good news to the native people. And he did that as best as he, as, as he could. He did that as best as he could. Although maybe people could see some fault with his life. But he come with a good heart. And now we are trying to erase that memory. We are trying to say, oh, go away. We don't need you here. You are not part of us. You are not part of our history. And that is what we saw happening in our gospel reading today with Jesus Christ. He came to this town and he saw two people that were possessed. And he drive out the demons out of them. And so the people came out. You know, that was a good deal he, Jesus has done for them, you know, by healing somebody. He, he would have done more. But instead of welcoming him to their neighborhood, they, they asked him, please leave. 
We don't want you around here, you know. We don't know what next you are going to do to us. So they were not willing to accept the goodness of God in their midst. They don't want to recognize that. And they asked Jesus to go away from their neighborhood. In the, God, the first reading tells us today that we need to seek goodness and never to give into evil. We seek goodness and never to give into evil. And that is the point of it all. Sometimes like Jesus or Junipero, people may, may misunderstand our goodwill, you know. They could misinterpret our, our good intentions for them and they act as if we are their enemies sometimes. But all we are looking for is the best for them, you know. But they may not recognize that. But we are encouraged not to give in to evil because people are not appreciating what we are doing for them or stop doing the good that we are supposed to be doing for them. We are not to give in to that. We are always called to be who God has called us to be, to share his love, to show goodness and mercy to those who may come our way. We are going to come to Jesus Christ in the Holy Eucharist today. As we come to him, we ask him through the intercession of St. Junipero that God will give us the graces never to turn into evil because people are not appreciating the good that we do for them. We should never let anything stand on our way from becoming who God has called us to be. Let us stand now and offer our prayers and petitions to God for our church that she may continue in her missionary efforts to spread the goodness and love of God in our world. Let us pray to the Lord. We pray for our government leaders that God will give them the wisdom to lead us more faithfully. Let us pray to the Lord. We pray for the poor and the marginalized in our societies, that God will be their sure hope in life. Let us pray to the Lord. We pray for all the sick and the dying, that God will remember them and heal their sicknesses according to his holy will. Let us pray to the Lord. For the souls of our faithful departed, that God will grant the internal rest in his heavenly kingdom. Let us pray to the Lord. Let us now add our own private intentions. Let us pray to the Lord. Almighty ever-living God, this is our prayers and petitions before you. We pray that you answer them according to your holy will. For we ask all this to Christ our Lord. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for to your goodness we receive the bread we offer you, fruit of the earth and work of human hands. It will become for us the bread of life.
Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for to your goodness we receive the wine we offer you. Fruit of the vine and work of human hands, it will become our spiritual drink. Pray, brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Father Almighty. Look upon the sacrificial gifts we offer, Almighty God, on the feast day of blessed St. Juniper or Sarah, and grant that we who celebrate the mysteries of the Lord's passion may imitate what we now do through Christ our Lord. The Lord be with you. Lift up your heart. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is truly right and just our duty and our salvation always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, through Christ our Lord. For us, on the festival of St. Juniper of Sarah, you bid your church rejoice. So too, you strengthen her by the example of his holy life, teach her by his words of preaching, and keep her safe in answer to his prayers. And so, with the company of angels and saints, we sing the hymn of your praise, as without end we acclaim. Holy, holy, holy Lord God of us. Heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the heart. So to see you, in the name of the Lord. Hosanna. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the font of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts we pray by sending down your spirit upon them like the dew fall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and gave him thanks, broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith, save us, Savior of the world, for by your cross and resurrection, you have set us free. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have heard us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, and Robert, our apostolic administrator, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection, and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome then to the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, 
with blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the blessed apostles, and all the saints who are pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit be co heirs to eternal life, and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him, and with him, and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. At the Savior's command, and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us. Deliver us, Lord, we pray from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. Lord Jesus Christ, who say to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who lives and reigns forever and ever. The peace of the Lord be with you always. Let us offer each other the sign of peace. Lamb of God, Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy of this Only say the word. Amen. Fire. 
Yes. Let us pray. <clears throat> By the power of this mystery, O Lord, confirm your servants in the true faith, that they may everywhere profess in word and deed the faith for which blessed St. Junipero Serra never ceased to labor and for which he spent his whole life through Christ our Lord. The Lord be with you. Lord Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Go in peace, glorifying the Lord by your life.